Hey everybody, wanted to make a video response or more like a video add-on to Happy Healthy Vegans video Should I buy the cheapest fruits and vegetables? And I just sort of wanted to give my take on things because uh, I kind of see some things similar and some things different What they Basically, if you didn't see the video they said that they you know, try to shop at their local farmers markets as much as they can and then they get fruit, you know, when they buy fruit, they get like organic bananas and they try to stick to, you know, a lot of organic and getting things as like locally sourced as possible. Um, but since the mango, since bananas don't really grow in California, getting the mostly the fair trade ones. So I just, I think that is a really good strategy. Uh, I do something similar and I kind of wanted to talk about what I do as far as getting um, the freshest and the best at the lowest prices. So generally my strategy right now out in California is to get all my tropical fruit at the wholesale market. Uh, sometimes it can be hard to find organic bananas there, so I do buy something like Dole Conventional or something like that most of the time. Uh, for mangoes, I buy a ton of mangoes. Since it's been mango season, I pretty much buy like 8 or 9 up to 12 or 13 cases of mangoes a week. And I usually get the ripe ones that only cost two, three, four dollars a case. So I probably the bulk of my diet during mango season here is mangoes. I mean, let's face it, they're one of my favorite fruits. Um, the other thing I buy at the wholesale market when I can is jackfruit. I find that a lot of the other things sold at the wholesale market um, are generally pretty low quality. The tomatoes are pretty horrible. All of the vegetables in general are just like have no taste, are no good, and you have to buy a case of like 30 heads of celery, which there's no way you can eat that all before it goes bad. So I generally don't buy any veggies at the wholesale market. Uh, I will get young coconuts if I can find them because they're pretty cheap. It's usually like 11 bucks for a case of nine, which is like you know, a little more than a dollar a coconut. You might pay three or four bucks at a place like Whole Foods. I generally shop farmers markets for all my veggies and anything that can be grown in California, so oranges. Uh, I love to get oranges from the farmer's market. I can often get them cheaper than the supermarket or even the wholesale market, and the quality is, is way better. So I got my uh, orange guy, Jay, at the Whittier Farmer's Market, who will generally give me 25 pounds of oranges for about 10 bucks. And if I buy more, sometimes he'll give me bro deals that'll be like even better than that. So... I'm definitely a fan of supporting the local farmers. I think I'm a little bit farther away from downtown L.A., um, sort of uh, near Orange County, and the, the, the farmer's markets here aren't as good as the ones that are closer to L.A. I visited the Long Beach Farmer's Market with uh, Angie and Ryan last week, and just the availability of stuff out there is, like, so much better. I mean, they just get better farmers that have way more fruit and just better quality produce that come out there, and I was kind of jealous. I ate this avocado that like it was literally the best avocado I had in my life like normally you eat an avocado and it's like okay it's an avocado like it's pretty good this one was just like just really tasted like an avocado I don't know how to describe it it had a ton of flavor and um, I just, just devoured it so basically like I said my strategy is to get all my tropical fruit which I tend to eat the majority of my calories is that um, whereas a happy healthy vegan said you know, we buy our bananas, we eat a ton of bananas, we buy mangoes from like the, the Asian market, and then all the rest of our fruits and vegetables come from the farmer's market, and then like we sort of stretch our budget with the potatoes and rice, which I think is a is an excellent strategy. Uh, for me, I do more of the, the fully raw thing. I've been pretty much doing that since I moved out to California, and so the bulk of my calories is really mangoes and to a lesser extent bananas, and... Um, so you really can't buy that from a farmer's market. When I do find organic bananas at the wholesale market, I definitely snag them up because usually those guys are selling them at the, the conventional price. Uh, and the other good thing about the wholesale market with bananas is you can get a ripe box of bananas for sometimes as little as $5, which is uh, pretty damn awesome. So if I could get fair trade um, you know, reliably, I would, but I live like 45 minutes from a Whole Foods, actually, if you can believe it or not. But I did find out about an uh, organic wholesaler that's only about 20 minutes away, so I will look into them. 
But for the most part, anything that can be grown in California, I'm going to get from the farmer's market. Anything that's tropical, I'm going to get it from the wholesale market. Uh, I will fill in the gaps with like Costco organic greens and stuff like that from time to time. But uh, I think that the wholesale vegetables are just a bad scene and I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, uh, occasionally I do find, like I found like a case of organic cherry tomatoes. It was like 18 pints for $6. Ridiculous. Grab that. I wish I could have got two, but there's no way I could have eaten them all the time before they went bad. So um, I would definitely stress... Um, get high quality get the best quality you can afford because I think like Mike Arnstein said you know if you're getting low quality fruits and vegetables is it's gonna suck doing the, doing the 80 10 10 lifestyle it's gonna be like eating soggy pizza every day so you know use your noggin get creative use this wiki that I just talked about uh, you can find um, you know all kinds of deals and I think my friend Mark made a video about how he was at the 99 cent store and they were selling one pound clamshells of organic strawberries for a buck and so he bought 16 which was like the limit of how many you could buy and then he came back the next day and he bought another 16. Um, so you just gotta, you gotta be creative and you gotta be resourceful and you can find ways to make it work. So I would say just like don't be too easy to, to give up um, and you know Build relationships with your sellers, whether it's a supermarket, the wholesale, your farmer's market, because you don't know what kind of deals you can get. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions on this, I know a lot of people want to know, you know, how do I afford a fully raw lifestyle? How do I do the shopping? How do I know what to get? Um, you know, leave them down below and I'll be happy to uh, answer for you guys.